everybody. Today we are going to be looking at a website called Starfall. A lot of times people will talk about ABC Mouse and we love ABC Mouse too, but I actually really like using Starfall and it's actually a little bit cheaper. There is a yearly fee, but I actually think that it's very, very worth it. It's really fun for the kids. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. And also what I like about it is that they get a chance to use the mouse, which is really cool because when they go to when they go to computer class in kindergarten, they'll be um, using a mouse. So this gets them a chance to be able to use that. And um, it's a way to use technology that also gives them a chance to learn too. So what they have to offer, if you click on kindergarten math here, there's several games that you can play and we're gonna be talking about addition today. So um, they have this cute little potato game We'll click on it here. Again, I'm only going to do one. You'll get the gist of it and how it works here. Let's add potatoes. Add these potatoes. Hi, right, Carly. You want to add it? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to actually have her show you how this works. And we're only going to do one, okay? All right. Come on down. <laughs> All right. So how can we figure this out? You can count the potatoes, right? Yes, that says four. I know, that one pointed to it. So, But what you can do, though, is you can have them count Three the potatoes. Plus one. Or they can use their fingers. Four. Okay, we'll do one more just to show it. Okay, go ahead and press the arrow. Add these potatoes. Okay, so go ahead and add that up, Car. What can you do? Count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so find the nine. Perfect. Eight plus one equals nine. They're doing a little cute dance now. All right, so we're going to move on to a different activity just because we kind of get the gist of what's going on there. All right, this next one now that we're going to do is we're going to do this make 10 objects. Making 10 is a big thing that we like to practice in kindergarten here. I'm gonna make the screen a little bit bigger. All right. All right, ready, Carly? So go ahead and pick a number. Whatever one you want. Four. How old are you? Okay, four. Yeah, for how old you are, that's perfect. Make 10. All right, now we got to figure out how many we need to make 10. You already have four there, so count the squares for me and tell me how many you need to make 10. One, the empty ones. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now you got to find six dots up there to make 10. You made 10. Four plus six equals. Ten. All right, so that's how we do that activity. And then here I'm going to click more addition and subtraction. The dice one is just a matching game, so they can count up the dots on the dice and then match it with a number. Um, all right, we're going to do this one, this addition activity. She really likes this one. We've been doing this one for a long time. And they already know it. Yeah. I know three this. Plus three equals. Now she knows the answer to this because we've been practicing doubles. Three plus three. But again, they could just count six. up the different dinosaurs. I like also how they split them up in different colors, kind of that part, part, whole concept that is very important for kindergartners. And we'll do one more here. Okay, so how would we figure this out? What could you do? Count them. Yeah, you could count them. And count the left and right. Okay. One, two, three. You can see how she's using Four, the mouse, so five, six, good stuff seven, for them to eight, learn to. Eight, eight, right. Plus five equals eight. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. 
Perfect. Eat. Good job, sweetie. Goodbye. Okay, so they have that activity for addition. And then they also have some other um, different ones here, like making 10 with this. Down. We'll show that one really quick. Now they do this three times make in a row. Ten. We'll only do one. Click two cubes to make 10. Five. Five. Plus five equals ten. Now, this is good practice, too, because she doesn't know the rest of these. And go ahead, Carly. Click on a number. And then if you if they get it wrong, it just tells them, oh, try a different number. Six plus one. Go ahead and click on one. Four. Six plus four equals ten. Ten. It kind of gives them a clue kind of the first time when they do this too. As you can see, there was some stars. And in the other game you saw too, it was pointing to it. The first time that kids are doing it, three two, plus, they kind of give them some helpful hints. And then the next time around, they don't do that. Seven equals ten. They gave me stars. Yeah. To show me. Six. Plus four equals ten. All right. Awesome. Good job. And again, they do that a few times, as you can see. They'll just do it over again. All right. Um, and like I said before, if you have little ones, I know this is an addition, but it's pretty awesome. He loves, my son loves sitting here and counting these, um, the food to Turtles give to the animals. It's just great to work on counting and number How recognition. How many apples are there to feed this turtle? She'll do it for you real quick here. So three, they go through three animals. Two, one. Zero. Awesome. Okay. And they usually do, they do do some teen numbers too. So if your toddler is like two and a half or three, that's good for them too. Um... All right, um, we used to do the counting train. That's good for about three-year-olds too because they have some larger numbers. Two, three, and putting them in order. Four. Even when your kid knows all the numbers, sequencing them is very important. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. And then it, the they get 11, higher and higher as it goes. Twelve. And they, it's cute because they go up and pick up different passengers. And if you decide to join Starfall, you'll see there's cute little characters that you'll get to know throughout all these things. You remember some of the characters' names? All like who's that? Zach the Rat. Zach the Rat. Yeah, so they have some cute little characters and stuff that the kids get to know. They show them throughout all the different activities. 70. Okay, we're going to come off of this one. one. So again, great addition activities, and for when they're older too, addition up to 20, we haven't gotten there yet. Um, two digit addition. So this is great even for when they get a little bit older and they're doing some more difficult activities like that. But then again, also you can use it with little ones too. So love Starfall. If you have any other questions or wanna see some other different activities that they have to offer with anything else, let me know. Um, we use this also for reading and sight words and they also love the cute little songs that are in here too. Um, so yes, I hope that helped if anybody's interested in joining.